guys, this is me Pranav from Android Noobs. Today I'm here with review of XOSP ROM for you Eureka. Without any further ado, let's begin. So first, let me take you to the Android version as we usually do. Just to be sure. It's on one second. A little bit of confusing for me. Yeah, it's on Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So as this as the name as the name suggests, XOSP ROM is Xperia open source project. As the name suggests, it's just like the Xperia ROM with a little bit of tweaks here and there, and it's based on CyanogenGen. So let us look at the UI of this. So it's a pretty clean general UI. What you regularly get, the app drawer is to the right side. Here, here are your apps, and if you swipe to the left sidebar, you get some suggestions. Of the apps you can use, like here, Snapchat, Messenger, Snapchat, Messenger, Instagram, Facebook, like recommended apps which I want, and these are the suggested apps. So, so this is a good addition for people who love love these kinds of things. These suggest some good apps, not the bad ones. As you can see, Messenger, Instagram, etc. Those are not the bad apps or not ads either. Some good suggestions. So let us look at all the tweaks and customizations it offers. So before that, let us see if the flashlight works. One second. Yes, it does work. I showed you. I showed it to you. Let us check if auto rotation bugs. Uh, auto rotation works. Let me open an app to check that. See, auto rotation. So auto rotation works well too. So, no bug. No major bugs. Actually, it didn't face any bug till now. So let us look at the settings and all this ROM has to offer. It has the basic settings and now it comes to free install with Viper FX. And here are the XOSP settings or the customizations. Let us look at them. So there is an option for showing the XOSP logo, all that. Change the font size, show the network traffic bar, display unit, auto hide, etc. So if you swipe right, you get the buttons personalization, enable on screen. Oh. Enabling on screen isn't disabling the off screen thing. I think there has to be another um, uh, somewhere to turn off, turn it off, turn the hardware buttons off. Nope. So, enabling this hard uh, software navigation case is not disabling the hardware buttons. So, you have to do that some editing or whatever. So you have all the customizations of volume buttons, menu button and all that. So here are the miscellaneous personalizations. There's a system app remover default, so no no, no worry, worry about that. So double tap to on the lock screen to sleep. That's good. Prevent accidental wake up. So all that. The option will be... So there are many new features actually, reasons. Clear all button, clear all location, this on the go mode. The, the dashboard settings and all. Even you can change the charging rate. Okay, show the charging rate on the screen. That's a good addition. So task manager on the status bar and the navigation bar. Actually, the UI of this XOSP settings is quite cool and simple, giving you the exact thing of each. So, okay, so this is about the XOSP, all the, all the things. This is about the XOSP, all the things. As you can see. So now, let us look at the other things this has to offer. Let us look at the Viper Viper FX. So Viper for Android pre-installed requires root. So here are the themes. There are the Cyanogen layers themes here. Cyanogen layers themes. Actually, not layers. In the layer base, not you don't get the theme store and themes chooser. So display and light. And if you go to live display and turn on reduce power consumption, your screen is going to become too bright. So don't even think of doing that. Mm, so all the basic things mm. and that's much about it that's all that's all about the customization if you go into the xosp it shows xperia open source project that's what it is like based on xperia so it removes all the unwanted apps from cn engine like most of the things music everything and it comes installed with the xperia based apps like the music the music here it's using a, it, it does look like the xperia version of it the music app of Xperia. So even the albums app is the Xperia's one. So 
most of the things almost like all the apps are Expedia taken even the videos app if you look at the UI most people would know it so there is a Viper pre-install there are themes here messaging phone everything else so there is there are this sketch app is pre-installed and there is even a folder so these this is the UI of it and all the apps that come with it you can add this edition this you have this cool new edition you have Xperia apps and you have the Xperia custom Xperia settings actually X, XOSP settings that give quite a bit more customizations than most of the other ROMs on the market night right now so guys this is a devil definitely a good ROM with the XO if uh, if you install the XOSP set uh, apps as well so this ROM is pretty good I didn't face any major bug not even a minor one to be frank so everything else seems to be right in the place the camera it comes with with the snap camera not not much of a difference in the camera but everything else is as smooth as hell it's too good so guys that's it for the quick review of XOSP ROM based on Sanogen Mod 13 Marshmallow for you Eureka and Eureka Plus if you, if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel until next time this is me Pranav from Android Noobs signing off